Let's take a closer look at another VW Phaeton highlight, the trunk. So let's do a little comparison between my VW Phaeton and my mom's BMW 6 series. So the VW Phaeton is from 2008 and the new price was 113,000 euro. It has VW individual options and uh, a lot of things you could have at the time. And the BMW has around the same new price, was around 115,000 euro with the M package. And um, let's see how the two trunks are designed. So I have a magnet here. You can see the quarter panel of the Phaeton is steel. Remember this is reinforced steel even because they gave themselves higher crash requirements than they really needed to. The tailgate is aluminium. It's the same for the BMW, quarter panel is steel and the tailgate is aluminium. Now let's open the trunk. So we can just press the button and it opens only that much. It doesn't open all the way, even if we help a little bit, it doesn't come up. So I guess the springs are a little bit tired already. I mean, the car is 13 years old now and uh, you can see how it looks like. They have two tubes, um, which is very tidy. Also the cable for the tailgate goes inside here. And now let's see what the Phaeton looks like. So also here we can press the button. That's a bit different, right? So if we look at the BMW's tailgate, like we said, we have these two tubes here that disappear in that cover. Um, if we look at the tailgate itself, it has a big fat lock here, which is just the pure metal. There is no cover for this. I'm not sure if there, is, um, if there should be a cover, but at least here is none. There's one light. If we look at the other light, it's here. So we have two lights for the tailgate and you can see it's the pure unpainted metal underneath here. So there is no cover for this. Um, also, if we look at underneath here, we have a little compartment and the battery. We can't really hang this anywhere here. So it's a fairly simple trunk cover for this pretty expensive car. And also this here is, I guess, the cheapest plastic they could find. Um, the side here has a pretty deep compartment but also that feels relatively cheap and look at these covers that is um, yeah not the highest quality in such a expensive car but that is the standard and now let's take a closer look at the Phaeton so first of all look at this what did they do here so these are forged aluminium arms uh, this is pretty much like building a suspension and you can really call it suspension because you can shake on the tailgate and you shake the whole car it's super stable and there's a damper and it's a very nice integration of the uh, cable here never had any issues with that but i know that people do have problems with fit on tailgates but i never had one in 100,000 kilometers the next thing is look at the lock the lock disappears the lock at the bmw is still there so the VW Phaeton has a lock that disappears while it opens. We can close the tailgate and you can see how the lock comes out and closes. And by the way, the VW sign is the button to open. Can you see how it disappears? So that's just amazing and they did this to keep your clothes clean and to not hit your head when you close the trunk. So how does the automatic trunk on a Phaeton work? And why can you not see a mechanism? It's because the Phaeton has an own hydraulic system for the tailgate, which VW only designed for this car. An electric pump in the right hand side of the trunk is supplying oil pressure to the hydraulic elements either side of the tailgate. These hydraulic cylinders are hidden and drive the mechanism with forged aluminium arms through a shaft either side. The system is super strong, reasonably fast and doesn't get weaker like systems with a spring. Also, systems with a spring can only open but not close the trunk. In addition to that, like we could see, the lock disappears while opening the trunk to avoid injuries and to avoid dirt on your clothes through oil and grease. Also, the lock has soft close and pulls the trunk into its final position. And let's take a look at the other things around the Phaeton trunk. So first of all, we have a pretty 
um, high quality trim. If we look underneath here, you can see that there's even carpet up here. And we have one, two, and three lights. So three lights in the trunk. My mom actually just recently had the problem that this one trunk light that she had was broken. And then the trunk is completely dark. The Phaeton has three lights in the trunk. So not a problem here if one light bulb is broken. Also, if you want to open this here, you have this standard VW clip, which is quite um, useful. So you have this hook at the front. You can hold it up here. And I have a lot of tools in here because that's my service car for all the other cars I have. And also, this is really stable here. You can really sit on it and it's, it's not a problem. Um, we have one battery on the right, one at the left hand side, like you could see in my other video. And it's a really high quality trim, including this chrome-like panel here. So there's no cheap plastic. Um, it's already pretty scratched because the car has over 300,000 kilometers now but um, still high quality, still works, and it's really nice to have a trunk like this. Another thing we should appreciate here is how usable the trunk is, and the BMW trunk is relatively narrow. If we look inside here, of course you have big wheels and you have the suspension in the way, but the Phaeton has the same issue, and it's a lot wider here. You have a lot more space, and it's also a more boxy shape, so it's easier to use. So as you can imagine, since I'm driving a Phaeton, every other trunk looks pretty cheap to me. Just look at that. We need to close it like this. The Phaeton just goes like that. And we have the lock coming out and it still works even after 16 years perfectly. It's super stable. It, there's never any issue even at heavy winds or in winter when there's snow on it or something. Not a problem. So. I hope you liked this little insight. These little details show you how much uh, detailed engineering went into this car. And see you at the next video.